Welcome back to B D D E, where we like to waste money and have fun. Uh, I've decided to waste money more than I should probably should at the moment, but given we've had the um, dust was on and I have yet to do Monarch First Edition again, decided I will. So uh, to allow us to get to this, we have to change scenes. So scene change. Ta-da! Excellent. Perfect. That was one I bought a while ago. Someone wrote my name on it. Yay! So that's why I'm opening this one and not any others. It's because this one, particular one, has my name on it. Now, if I get some, I get three really good boxes, uh, I'm definitely not going to open the last. I'm going to put the last on the shelf and count that Dust of Dawn as its fourth. Kind of cheating, but that's fine. Um, we're going to take this top right one. I used to love top rights. Oh. I haven't done this in a while. So, um, I have other boxes. I'm probably just going to have to uh, potentially sell them for many reasons. Those that know, know. Those that don't, eh, you can ask me. I might say, I might not. Um, it's not so public of importance. It's more about just my life. Now, I don't have a spare Monarch box, obviously, to use for the comments, so... We're gonna have to open it up. All right, so we got a display of our Monarch first edition stuff. Yeah, some of you may or may not remember there are some packs that tend to have a bit of openness there. So we're just gonna pull them out. That was pretty good so far. And I'll have to use this one uh, for our common box. Uh, I've been looking at some of the, uh, the few, the very few, uh, bright lights, uh, spoilers, um, there's one particular I can't wait, but that's because I particularly like a certain class, and that is, of course, the Draconic. The Tome of the Imperial Flame, I can't put it up, so um, I'll just quickly read it. Uh, it's a draw card. If you are a royal, instead draw two cards. You may, uh, you may pitch two car uh, red cards. If you don't, banish your hand. So, obviously, um, Jemai, this is good because she can just draw two, uh, if you take the crown, so that way she can draw more cards uh, in CC and, and have a gold straight away, and then this is now will fire off. I think that's going to be a good thing. Um, so, I can't wait to see that. And, yeah, there's two others, but we'll talk about them a little later. And we're going to get on with cracking packs. Uh, so obviously we want cold foil legendaries, preferably a um, cold foil library because that way I can have a second one. Because then I can play one in the deck and I can have one on display. Feels very different uh, after all those tournaments, all the um, uh, women doing the pre-release having to do Monarch to do it with this stuff versus that. Anyway, we have a, Zelda, a zealous uh, belting. That's our uh, thing. I'll put our. Uh, that's our t uh, equipment. That's our token. Put the rares off to the side. Commons. Got a box. Sorry, guys. I know. We're three minutes in and got one pack and I don't know what I'm doing. Sue me. So sue me if you knew that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making it up. Uh, the other, alter other things I'd like is the Full Art Herald. Um. Uh, the Full Art Foil Herald, that would be lovely. Uh, rip Through Reality. Uh, our Iron Bark. We have our Consuming Aftermath and Captain's Call. A little token of uh, chain there. It's alright. Ah! Have trouble opening this pack for some reason. Maybe it's got a legendary in it and doesn't want to let me have it. Doubtful! Minimalism, uh, rally the rear guard. Down to gold, and we don't go uh, too long a name, and we have the secret horizon. Man, I got too many lights around me at the moment. Um, it's a good thing. Obviously, I'm well, well lit than usual. Uh, the downside, obviously, is that I am 
warmer than I'd like to be because I didn't put the air conditioning on beforehand. <laughs> Such shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. There we go. I'm trying to figure out where my phone is. Fuck yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Within the first few packs. Now, where did I put those damn things? Alright, I'm going to have to disappear because I just realised I put my uh, sleeves over there. I thought I'd move them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We already have hit pay dirt. Let's have a look. Alright, so that's pretty good. I gotta say. Ooh, the centering looks really good. Corners look good. I think this is gonna get. I'm gonna go send a soft grade because my other one. It's only a 9, so if this becomes a 9.5 or better, well it won't, but if it does, we keep, uh, we'll keep that in the case and we will uh, crack the other one, that's only a 10, and open that. Are there any blemishes? Because uh, this set, unfortunately notorious for white dots on the stuff, that's not if I get a white dot anyway. That looks amazing. Hopefully my fingerprint doesn't leave any lasting marks. Uh, that'd be a bright shame if I just did then, but it should be fine. I reckon it should be fine, but that's like... Ooh, three, four packs in and we get a library. Oh, man, I don't even know what I'm opening the rest of this box for. I should sell all packs on eBay. Make my mo and make maximum money. Um, I won't do that because... Not me. I like to open my packs. Um, and not like, that's why I'm, I'm sad if I have to sell my boxes off, um, because I was keeping them for a long, long time. Down the road, I'm continuing to open some older stuff. Uh, I've run to the scout, but as I said, things have changed, and it's not too bad. We have a, our first Majestic, a, um, Celestial Cataclysm. I love that card myself. We need to finish off with the rest of the pack. Um, oh, sorry, it wouldn't have been this a second one. We have the Arclight, Sentinel, and we have the old, the old Prism, the Before Time Prism. The OG. Oh, I'm having trouble today. Let's get a knife and help myself out. Jeez, guys, the library within a few packs. How can you beat that, guys? Like, I don't know. It makes me want to open the entire case. Just because it usually means when you get a library, the whole thing is pulled with, oh, it's a double up. Interesting when they happen. Uh, memorial ground. We have this little hat and nothing interesting in the backs. Keep doing the little shunt and it's not working. Maybe it's just everything's a bit old on these. Um, uh, dimensional with two X's, gateway. Aether, Phantasm, Fi, wherever you go again, you're the, just the rares. Put that back on the screen. So everybody knows that I cracked the library within a few packs. We have the Blinding Beam. Uh, we just have stubby holders and nothing but back skis. Uh, if we get a full art, um, uh, one of the three ultimate art, full art uh, cards with this set in this box. That's like just absolutely phenomenal. You can tell that was just such a different shade there. Uh, Captain's Call looks very shiny for some reason. We'll have a look at that actually. That's an anomaly. Because as you can see, this, the borders are far shinier than they are in these ones, so that's kind of strange. I don't know, a little printing error. Not sure when, not sure how, not sure why, but it is. Ah, having a bad day with opening packs, but a great day with actually what you get. Can't ever say I've had a bad day when you open a cold full library. Just wish I had it left at the end, but oh well. I don't know where they are. 
Ah, uh, we have just the blinding beam and some out muscles. Crack bubbles! The old way. Go back to the old, old way of opening it. Ah, uh, Secret Alignments, Time Skippers. I have a lot of those in cold foil. I mean, I bought more than I probably should have had. I really regret that. Um, sorry, Time Skippers go there. Secret Horizon, I regret it because uh, I don't use them. I was, ho I was hoping to use them in a lot of decks, but... Um, this tends to not one of them in the decks that I play. Just all the commons. We had the impregnable uh, beliefs. Stubby hammers again, and some lights to go with that. Another crack bubble. These lights are starting to warm up. I meant to be losing weight, and I just had no belly feels full. That's not good. But so does my heart. My heart feels good with the libraries. And we had another one where they're. Um, the actual bordering is off. It's very strange. The, the dimensional gateway. Yeah, that's actually probably good. Uh, didn't I have one? Yes. Exact copies. You can tell the difference, right, guys? It's just not just me being the mentor. Is it should be showing from the camera. Um, but yeah, that to me is like, uh, it's almost like it's from a different set run. I don't know, just weird for me, I guess. We have, of course, the Rise Above, and we have another arc. Why did I put the crack bubbles there? Well, because I thought that was just as good as the fucking, we have a second Arc Knight Sentinel. A, um, Prism Speciality. Uh, one that was very frustrating to anyone that was fighting her to see that come up. It's like, you know, I've done my turn for the most part. Hmm. Yeah, this is another one of those. Uh, ultra weird. Uh, anyway, that's a um, camera of something blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah is what I think it is. I don't even care about the rest of the cards. I got a call for a library. Do da, do da. Uh, so we had a bad box last time, we had a good box this time. This is how it works. But I should have two good boxes for every one bad box. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. If you guys don't think that's fair, well, too bad. Ooh, we have the, uh, the Sonata... Was it... Arcanics? Was it? It's still a beautiful card. I, it's Runeblade. Um, I don't like Runeblade, but it is a beautiful piece of art. So, and we have a Tome of Divinity in the back. I honestly didn't expect to hit a library. I mean, I want to, but pff, I didn't get what I want. Ask and I shall receive. What should I ask for next, guys? Uh, let me know in the comments below what I should ask for next, because I haven't decided. Uh, I don't know what I want yet. Um, apart from the right, apart from the um. Full Art Herald, a Full Art one of them, that'd be lovely. We had the, uh, the, was it the Warmongers, uh, what's it, Recital? Yeah, we'll go with that, I like that idea, it's a recital. It's going a bit long, sorry guys, I'm just enjoying the old Monarch. So where I started, oh, we have a tear from limb from limb, not a particular card I give a shit about. Because I think I got quite a few of those as my rainbow foils compared to others. But that's okay, it happens, it can't be helped. What the fuck? I, I literally got this, the fuck? I got the same rare. What the fuck? This box is weird, guys. I'm weirded out now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm lost. Help, I need an adult. Help, help, I need an adult. Someone send an adult to help me because I'm lost. I'm gone. 
Like these feel like they're bent backwards, uh, like from being in the box. Don't know. Ah, we have a swooping shadows, and we have uh, armor, an ode, and a shield, and OG prism. Uh, there's obviously at least one weapon in here that everyone looks at and goes, meh, now because it's uh, legends, living legend status, because she's in living legend status, and that'd be getting her cold foil majest uh, majestic um, thing, and we have a pound for pound for our foily. Dimensionals! And we have a meat axe. Oh, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. It's just been a slog since um, we got the rainbow. We got the cold pole so early. Our consuming aftermath. Uh, helmet popping and a uh, plow through and our little myos. We only got three packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Three packs left. We have the Spears of Serenity, and I prefer the red one, and the Boots, Merciful, and a Valiant Thrust. Not a bad card, but... We have a War Tune Herald in yellow for our foily. And we have a Guardian of the Shadow Realms! Ah, uh, it's probably there for Yu Gi Oh to fight. Last pack, ladies and gentlemen. A bit longer. I apologize uh, for keeping you so long. For only one box. Uh, but I had to run off and get that thing. No more cold foil. We have the Plunder. Uh, some ho uh, horseshoe boots. The Unhallowed Rites. And we have a Phantasmicon. And obviously we have our adult prism. Put that to the side. Uh, so there's obviously no point in doing it. But for those who have skipped all the way to the end, we have the Phantasma Clan. We have the Guardians of the Shadow of the Realms. We have a Rainbow Foil. Tear from limb from limb. We have the son, uh, the Sonata Arcanex. We have the Tome of Divinity. We have two uh, Arclight Sentinels and a Celestial Cataclysm. And my very early crack, the Great Library of Solana. Not bad at all, considering it was. Uh, this is what I was hoping to grab because that means I don't have to buy a Rainbow Fire one now if I want to play. F2, two, two. It's great. Um, <laughs> I mean, the rest of the case, I uh, can't get much better than that. Um, like, if I get a legendary, uh, I don't know. I'm, I think it's only realistically the uh, lady boots, um, the illusionist boots, and uh, those alternate other arts I mentioned. It's probably going to be the big hits after that. Don't care. Have a library. That's that's the case worth easily. So. Everything else is a bonus. Anyway, scene change. So, um, yep. I think this box is 10 out of 10. I called the library, so I don't care what else was in the box after that. I really didn't. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, let me know what you think about this box uh, in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you like this, because I do open boxes pretty regularly. Anyway, that's all the time we got for here at B D D E. We'll catch you all next time. Bye.